morning and a very warm welcome back to Golden Hillock uh, Golden Moments. This is episode 25 um, and it's National Science Week this week so we've been marking that fact by a number of uh, activities and opportunities particularly in terms of assembly time and also it's quite significant that this is quite a momentous week scientifically. Um, you'll notice it's a little bit darker and the reason for that is that we are just experiencing at the moment in time a partial eclipse of the sun. Uh, it also is uh, the day when it's the vernal equinox, when the days and the nights are of equal length. And indeed also there is due to be a supermoon tonight when the moon is closer to Earth than at any point in terms of its axis. So all the planets and celestial bodies seem to be in alignment and therefore it gives me great pleasure now to hand over to Mr Parrock who is the um, interim leader of the science faculty who will give you a little bit more detail in terms of what we've been doing to, uh, to celebrate National Science Week this week. Every March uh, it's the Science Week. And during Science Week, we do little activities. Most of the time, what we've done is taken children to the Big Bang Show, if we can, in Birmingham. This year, we decided to focus in school. So we decided to do these assemblies about STEM, which stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Maths. Now, as you know, everything we do in our lives is all about science, but the, the point is that most of the children don't seem to link science with all the other, like their mobile phones and things. So this is an opportunity for them to understand that they have to also learn technology, engineering and maths and put it together with science, link it all together and they can become engineers. There is a massive shortage of engineers in the country, especially on the women's side. So it was to encourage the boys and the girls in this school to try and take up science, uh, technology and uh, engineering and maths really seriously and, and get the grades they need to go into engineering because that is the future as far as we're concerned. We're also having some medical people coming in this year to actually talk to them about the professions that lead from science, uh, education and, and maths and English, uh, sorry, English obviously, uh, and engineering. So, and I would also like to thank all the children from year eight who did all that work for them and our, our technicians. As we say, the flower part is the children and the leaves, the stem, is our technicians who help us get there and the roots obviously the teachers trying to take all the nutrition into the leaves but without the middle bits also we couldn't work so this is giving you a, a plant as an as an engineering part of thing from science into engineering you see how easy it is thank you very much in assembly we will be talking about science technology engineering and maths wait a minute what is that the stem no does that spell STEM? Yes. In the assembly, we will be doing some scientific magic. So let's get straight into it. Newton, Mary Curie, Bose. It's two. Are you in flexion? No. Oh, it's you. Now let's get into the real scientific magic. Firstly, we will be doing the barbecue balloons. We will demonstrate how to make barbecue balloons. My fellow assistant Asim will demonstrate how. The first step is to blow up the balloon. Next, Asim will put his saliva onto the skewer. Yes, I know this is disgusting, but it makes it easier for the skewer to be inserted in. Asim will now gently place it into the balloon. and water. First, light the match, set fire to all the other matches, <laughs> let's try one more time.
Now quickly put the lemon into the water. <laughs> now put the beaker on it quickly. And here we have levitating lemon. We are also going to be making sparklers. First of all, Anan is going to light the candle. Next, Asim is going to Anan is going to dip the splint into the water. And dip it into an iron filing and magnesium. Now you close it tightly.
I wish to follow the fascinating career path of a pharmacist. However, in order to get my dream job, I have to get a standing GCSEs and A-levels. And without science and maths, this would be impossible. Many people's big um, conception is that science, uh, science only takes you to one place and that's a scientist. That's incorrect. Um, with science, it's like branches of a tree. You could go loads of different directions. You could turn into a pharmacist, a doctor. You could go into medicine. You could, you could go to engineering. All of that sort of stuff. Same with technology. You could become loads of different, you could get lots of different jobs. In the future, I would like to become, a, to become a doctor, and in order to fulfill my dream, I I have to get good grades in my in my GCSEs, especially science and maths. In the future, I would like to follow the career of pharmacy. To do this, I should I need to get high levels in my maths and my A levels. As the school starts a new beginning, we would like you all to take part in STEM projects. There you have it, some fantastic opportunities and activities taking place this week to commemorate or celebrate National Science Week. Thank you so much to Mr Parrick and the students um, for giving us a taste there of what we've been doing and to really set alive our imagination and our love of science. So that's it for this week's Golden Hillock School Golden Moments, but we'll be returning to your screens the same time next week for episode 26. Thank you very much.